This is the persimmon area. You can see they look like just sticks jutting out of the ground, but they're in various stages of fully leafing out right now. Now bud grafting is normally done in late summer. Um, you graft the buds, you let the wood harden off around them, and then you release the buds in the spring of the following year. However, you can also bud graft in spring and have them leaf out in summer. This is what I chose to do this season on a few of my trees. This is a bud graft of Barbara's Blush. I did this in late May. You can see it is taken and is leafing out here in early July. These were three bud grafts I did of the Cultivar Journey, which is a hybrid. Uh, Journey has taken on three separate buds and is leafing out uh, prolifically. Now I'm not sure why this cultivar seemed more prone to taking than the others. Um, I did four buds on each. I got three out of four on this tree and on the last tree I only got one out of four. So this is Dr. Kazas, which is a third generation hybrid offspring of Nikita's gift. Uh, it has taken and is leafing out and seems to be struggling a little bit, but it looks like it will recover and will do fine in the long run. This is showing a very sloppy bud graft that I did. You can see the process is basically making a T-shaped incision and inserting a bud into the bark. Um, this particular one was not wound tightly enough. Here's a failed bud graft. You can see it wasn't tied tightly enough at the bottom and the tree did not accept the union between the, uh, the cambiums. There are fruits on Nikita's gift, and they are holding this season. This is the first season that it has held its fruits through June. That's, that's cool.